O man, but now you must rest in peace in heaven. Thank you for the life you've lived. It was a wonderful and inspiring. The bishop often consoled with the bereaved, and he would tell them to receive barakas huzunim, which I'd like to elaborate. Sorrow connects us to the comfort of God's presence. Someone on the mount, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. The Greek word for comfort is parakaleo. Para meaning close or near, kaleo meaning to call, invite, or beseech. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be invited to come near. As I conclude, I believe the best way to honor Bishop Korir is to continue and co to complete his work. In his name, I would like to make the following request to our politico political and spiritual leaders, as he had mentioned to me earlier. To your excellency, the president and the Depu deputy president, I would like to request you to complete his construction project for a girl secondary school in Segutiet Village, Bomet County. I also appeal to the Roman Catholic Church, which he faithfully served for close to five decades, to remember his humil humility and his consistency. Under the leadership of his eminence, Cardinal John Jue, you must tell it as it is, as what he would tell me. Corruption, infidelity, hypocrisy, greed for power within the church and indifference to the poor are vices that must be fought with resolute action. You must learn to correct people with love and reason as the bishop would often do to the politicians and citizens alike in my county. To the rest of the country, the political turmoil of the last four months has exposed our deep-seated animosity and hatred for one another. I call upon you to embrace the spirit of tolerance and understanding Bishop Corrier was not perfect. He flawed and fallible like the rest of us, but what, him, but, but what made him great was his willingness to see himself in the struggles and hardship of others. By, em, by embracing the lessons of his life, we can build a lasting peace of all our communities. A poem. If tears could build a stairway and memories were alien, we would walk right up to heaven and bring you back again. Our hearts still ache in sadness and secret tears flow. What it means to lose you, no one can ever know. Now you are roaming in endless fields forever free to run, listening to the songs of the wind beneath the golden sun. We shall meet you at the rainbow when the time is right. <clears throat> run into your arms again, walk with you in the light. But now we know what you want us to mourn for you no more to remember all the happy times. Life still has much in store. Since you'll never be forgotten, we pledge to you today. A hallowed place within our hearts is where you'll always stay. Thank you. I'm kindly requesting to pass a copy of this tribute to the, um, to the Excellency, the President, and the deputy president.
just uh, some of the family members uh, of the late uh, Bishop Cornelius Korir giving the final goodbyes to a man who will be laid to rest today after 67 years on this earth. Also in attendance is a high um, profile individuals, President Uhuru Kenyatta, his deputy William Ruto, also in attendance. And for details about the burial ceremony, let's now link up with our Elvis Koske, our reporter who is attending the burial ceremony. Elvis, there are quite a lot of speeches uh, for the better part of the morning. What has been said about this man, Bishop Cornelius Kurir? Thank you very much, Michelle. A lot has been said about the departed uh, Bishop Cornelius Kimeno, a rough career who many described as a peacemaker and a committed shepherd of the church and a staunch defender of human rights of all the people uh, who defended human uh, rights without any discrimination. And some of them say the best they can afford the less people uh, is for residents and also mourners, Kenyans to embrace peace, justice, and to exist together as brothers and sisters in this country. Remember, Bishop Corrillo was a dedicated servant of God uh, who devoted his life in serving God and humanity, and a peacemaker, a diplomat, and who was compassionate to humanity, uh, was a true definition of a mediator. So to many here, as you can hear, this is a family member earlier on. We are the uh, peers of uh, Rosa Public Works, uh, Mosomik, who is also the brother-in-law of the late bishop, of course, uh, giving their message of condolences. Also, as I can say, is that uh, we're also expecting what President Uhuru Kenyatta uh, will say in the next, like, 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, Deputy President William Ruto is also there. Uh, Baringo Senator Gideon Moyo was supposed to attend this funeral, but I'm told that uh, he sent his uh, brother, Raymond Moyo, who will read uh, the speech of uh, retired President Daniel Soroitich Arap Moyo. But to many here, business, uh, the bishop was a gentleman who was well focused and very sensitive to the needs of others. He was an excellent. Uh, uh, I'm also told that he was, a, he was a footballer as those days and good in keeping uh, the seminary ground neat and also making a great impact. Let me just mention to those who are listening to us that the bishop was born on 6 July 1915, segregated village. Uh, Segregated Paris, Kericho Diocese in Bomet County. Then between 1959 and 1970, he attended the Soin and Segutet primary schools. Uh, later in 1965, where he completed his secondary education at Mark of Apostles uh, Minor Seminary in Eldoret. In 1976, he later joined St. Augustine Major Seminary Bungoma, where he graduated with a diploma in uh, philosophy and religious studies in 1978. In 1982, he proceeded to St. Thomas Aquinas uh, Major Seminary in Nairobi for another uh, diploma. So it was in 1990 that it was, uh, it was a major breakthrough with the bishop, where he was ordained and appointed as the bishop of the Catholic Diocese uh, here in Eldoret, where he served for 27 uh, years uh, until his uh, demise uh, the other week. Uh, but the bishop was living a healthy life till when uh, we were told that... Uh, uh, he had diabetes and also hypertension, uh, something that many residents uh, will not know because he enjoyed a healthy life. Uh, but I'm told that in November 2016, he underwent an eye operation at Eldo Eye Clinic in Eldoret and later sought further medical attention at Karen Hospital, where he was diagnosed of uh, hypertension and diabetes. But uh, his condition in public was generally stable uh, when he continued making regular uh, visits here and there. So to many residents here in Western Gishu, uh, they have lost the leader. Not only a leader who was a peacemaker, but also a diplomat uh, who helped uh, to bridge uh, the gap between the rich and the poor. Of course, in the 2007-2008, let's also remember that he hosted thousands of uh, fleeing families who are affected by the post-election violence. So, Michelle, we still are the elder response club. Uh, where yeah, we are listening to speeches, of course, President Uru Kenyatta, one of the keynote speeches, and I also mentioned uh, Raymond Moy will be uh, presenting the speech of retired President Daniel Oishishara Moy. Then there will be a procession from here uh, to the El uh, Sacred Heart Cathedral in Eldoret, where the bishop uh, will be laid uh, to rest. Michelle.
Elvis Koske, they are keeping an eye on the situation in Eldred. And as he just mentioned, Bishop Cornelius Career will be laid to rest in a special tomb that has been constructed for him inside the Sacred Heart Church in Eldred County. And speaking of matters of burial, in just a moment, we'll be crossing over to Nyeri County, linking up with our reporter, Carol Nderi, on the latest on the late Dr. Home Gakuru's succession and burial plans. That coming up after this short break. This is Weekend at One.